Hello there, Seth here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on operating the bed typically found uh, in a lot of Volkswagen campers and uh, this bed is very easy to use but it can catch a few people out if you've not done it before. So we're going to go through how to set the bed up and uh, we'll see how to pack it away back into a seat again and uh, that way you'll feel comfortable using this bed in your camper van. We're not going to be covering any problem solving or troubleshooting if you're having issues with your bed. For that I seek, I would recommend seeking the help of a technical professional. This really is just a quick start guide just to get you up and running using this style of bed in your camper. So let's get started. So there are several components to this bed that you need to be aware of and uh, I will point these out ahead of time so that as I refer to them you'll be aware of them uh, before we get sort of fully into the video. So first of all of course we have the seat uh, back that's going to be this section here that's what I call the seat back where your back would rest against if you're sitting. We have the headrests of course we then have the seat base and then at the back we have the rear leaf there and uh, that forms the rear section. Things to be aware of, there is a pull handle here and uh, that's going to bring the bed forward. There are also some handles inside, which you'll see shortly. But also what we have here is this section at the back where on the rear leaf, as you can see here, we have this small uh, metal loop or sort of rod there where this seatbelt style uh, strap loop just hooks on there to keep the uh, rear leaf from falling down. If you did want the rear leaf down, just simply move this out of the way and that comes all the way down and you can use it as a parcel shelf. And this is also a prerequisite for getting the bed set up. So I've done that now and that will help us then continue setting the bed up. So the next stage is to remove the headrests from the uh, seat back as you can see and it's as simple as pushing in the base of the seat uh, the headrest bars so you can pinch here like so and on both of these push buttons on either side and then pull the headrest up and you will end up with two loose headrests like that so I'm going to set these to one side for now and show you the next stage, which is to grab hold of the handle here at the front, lift, and then pull towards you until you hear it stop. It only moves the seat base forward a matter of inches, and that's enough for us then to lift the seat over like so, and this forms the front section of the seat. Not only does this give us a great way of accessing the internals of the seat, if you had some larger items you wanted to store in here, you could obviously put them in and retrieve them this way as well. But what we're then going to do is we're going to come over to the side here and you can see we have these handles. All you need to do is lift them so they're horizontal like so, they're not going to get caught on the metalwork here. And then we simply just move them across so that they're straight like so. One on each side, so we do that here as well. And that's now going to have unlocked the seat back so that we can then just roll this forward like so and that forms the bed. Easy as that, as you can see. To set it back up as a seat, we're gonna reverse the process. It's very handy if you can grab hold of the loop that normally grabs the rod there on the back of the rear leaf. You can use that to pull the seat back up again, get it vertical or in its sort of resting position. If you're a bit worried, because it can kind of move a little bit when you let go, you can also have somebody hold it uh, while you operate the uh, handles again or as I'm unable to do because I'm filming with the other hand but you can obviously hold with one hand while you operate the handles with the other if you're worried about this falling back on you again. All we need to do is literally just return the handles back to their normal position and that should allow the seat then to lock in place. Simple and then we lift the seat back over, lift up on the bar and push the seat back until it's back in place and then lastly should you so wish we can come round to the back here and lift up the rear leaf grabbing hold of that strap and just looping that over like so and that's stowed the bed back in place and uh, it's now a seat again now if you wanted the seat belt uh, clips obviously to be accessible they're just here so you can Move the seat forward, rest those on like so. Do the same for this side here. 
like so. Just rest it on the top. And then when you push the seat back, they're both accessible as you need them. And uh, there we go. Easy as that. Oh, <laughs> headrests. So the headrests, of course, we take simply insert like so and just push down to the desired height. Normally it's just all the way down. So there's the other one there. And, and there we go. So that's all back in place. So now let's talk about the front. This typically is a table, as you can see. And I'm going to explain how we now get that table out. So firstly, to explain how to get the table out from the front of the seat or the bed box here, we have the clips here. Now I'm looking from the back of the vehicle underneath the seat to the forward end. And you can see here we have these two black clips. Now, can you see these two little uh, little uh, black plastic parts here? One there, and one there. What we're going to do from the front is we're going to reach into the corner of the seat box here and just push those across and that's going to unlock that part of the seat. But I thought I'd come around this way so that you can see those nice and clearly. So here we are at the front and I'm going to do exactly that. I'm just going to reach around here where I can feel that little bit of plastic. So I'm just going to push it back. And as you can see, maybe you can see it locking in and out there. Can you see that? So that's what it's doing. It's unlatching from this bar just here. And then at this end, there's normally this in place here just to hold that end in place. But we can now fully remove the table ready to be fitted on to the rod just here in the camper van, if you have such a thing. The table will fit onto that rod in much the same way you just place these over the, uh, over the bar and then you lock in place using these. The same mechanism that's been used to lock onto that smaller bar there to act as a seat frontage or a, a bed box frontage there. Replacing this is very simple. We're just gonna make sure these catches are open. We're going to bring the table down, offer it back in place. You may need to lean it to get underneath the bed handle there. And the first step is going to be lining up the uh, corner here. A little bit tricky to do whilst filming, but there we go. So that's in place. And I'm now simply just going to lock these back in. So there we go. And then I can simply come over here and it's done. And there we go, that about wraps up the video for operating this style of bed in your camper van. Hopefully you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.